uh, people, some, you don't you don't like music being played at certain hours of the day, but for your partner's sake, you kind of compromise. It's com- it's a biz- it's a business. <laughs> Love is a business. Relationships, it's real. See, Transactions. Have, yeah, it yeah in certain ways definitely. But thinking about cat in the ro- terms of like being cat or relating to a former self or whatever. Mm. Um, but then I feel like if you always throw in that perspective of like if it was your friend though, and this was the storyline. What would you tell that friend? And I'm always like, I'm pretty like tough on my friends. I'm like, no girl, like he's doing this, this and this. Like there's got, there's something, but in hindsight, like now that I've found love, like my, I just know like that's, (laughs) and that's the big sister part to me. It's like knowing like, I just want to be like, cat, like love is supposed to be like easy. Mm -hmm. Cause the love that I have found, it's way like different than anything. I've had and thought was love at the time so much easier so there's probably still I get what you're saying about it is a compromise but I don't think that love is a business I don't know if I think it's a business I think it's a business man because because you know why it's a business why because because the aim of a business is to make profit and the aim of relationship is (laughs) the aim of a relationship is to sustain one another and you cannot sustain one another because you need resources time emotions attention yeah but but the difference is is that a business is something that you like have to do if you when you're in love you want to do those things hey if think you, about if it if you're an, okay you're, it's an entrepreneurial thing it's not like you're sitting in a cubicle you're like you're the ceo of your Some life and your emotions <laughs> you know you're like love you're and when you think about chitty and cat cat was really really trying to cat wanted to be happy that's all she wants you know what i mean she just wants to be happy she wants to be secure and she wants assurance she wants insurance like that's just, i'm sorry i'm using a lot of business terminology but that's the way i see it and chidi is an investment man you know and he has to pay yeah. it has to he has to see yes he, he has to come through is yeah. he coming through is he coming through enough and that's this yeah. constant thing she's thinking is this enough you know am i am i crazy for thinking this and that's the nerve-wracking part of being i think from my experience with some of my friends friend, my friends who are girls it's like i don't want to be too clingy I don't want to demand too much. You know, there's this constant thing happening. Right. I feel like Kat was in this position where she was like trying to figure it out. <laughs>